Hello and welcome to Byte. Here at Byte we offer a range of qualifications including economics, business, IT and computer science. I'm going to be talking to you about the A-level economics which we have on offer this year. We were really excited because we are reintroducing it for 2022 and we really hope that you are going to enjoy the presentation and um, come and study economics with us next year. So looking at these pictures, this is just a snapshot of a couple of things that we may well be studying and hopefully it entices you to want to know more. So we've got like the Bank of England, we've got the exchange rate, looking um, at trading goods and services across the world, just to name a few. So in economics, there is one big problem. We do have many unlimited needs and wants from billions of people. And unfortunately, there are scarce and finite resources. So ultimately, the question or the problem or what politicians have to think about is who gets what and how do they get it? So economics is about studying this and we look at solving the problem through market economy and also we consider the consequence of their actions. So why should you choose economics? You will develop an understanding of economic concepts and theories through a critical consideration. We will apply economic concepts and theories using a range of contexts to appreciate their value. And we will look at this um, using real world scenarios. We will also think about the importance and complexity of contemporary economic issues in the local, national and global economy. So the course which we will be doing is split into three clear sections, microeconomics, macroeconomics, and then macro also has some global economics as well. Typical topic, topics are things like what determines prices, market structure, so we'll look at things like monopoly, oligopoly, we'll look at the market, the labour market and thinking about the employees that work there and what impact this has. And we'll also think about things on a wider context as well, so things like inflation, unemployment, economic growth and globalisation, just to name a few. The other thing we will think about, which is more to do with the global economic side, is the developing world. There are three exams at the end of the second year. The first exam is component one, and it's an hour and a half. And there's a range of multiple choice questions and structured questions. And it assesses everything that you have studied over the two years. You will then have a data response where you will look at all of the content again and have to answer questions based on a case study. And then for the last exam, you have to do um, an essay. And you get a choice of two for each section. So there's a total of three essays. So you can see here that we're drawing on a wide range of skills, both numeracy and literacy, because you have to be able to calculate the numbers and also write essays as well. There are a number of skills which you will hopefully gain whilst doing the subject, things like research, being able to track current economic and world affairs, data analysis, evaluating policy prescriptions, you'll do some presentations, you will work as a team, and hopefully most importantly, you'll learn to communicate as well. A lot of people ask me, do I have to be good at maths? We do ask that an entry requirement is that you do have a level six in maths. And that is because you have to be comfortable using things like graphs, equations, something we use as index numbers as well. A lot of people ask me, should I or can I do both? Can I do economics? Can I do business? Or could I actually do both? And the answer is you can certainly do both because they do look at different things. Economics focuses on influences on the economy, what impacts demand and supply, government policies, and is much more theoretical. Whereas business focuses on a detailed view of functions of a business, financial documents, all the different departments, and we really apply this to a lot of businesses. It's a much more practical approach, but please don't think when I say practical, that means you will be setting up a business. 
what I mean by practical is we really take businesses that we can see on the high street now and we apply all the theory to that. So if you are thinking about doing economics, it really goes nicely with a lot of different subjects, a lot like to do history, law, politics, business. We also get a number of students doing maths and um, languages as well. So it really does complement many other A-level courses. And we do have a lot of students who go on to study it at university. There are many careers that you can opt to take by doing economics, and it's well sought off. Um, a level for many universities. Things like banking, accountancy, insurance and actuary, education, working for the government and transport, travel. There's lots of options that you can go on to do. So if you would like any additional information, please contact myself, Mrs. Denon. I'm the head of Byte and I'm also a teacher of business and economics. You could also speak to Mr Jones, our head teacher, who is a teacher of economics, and Miss Hurst, who is another one of our teacher of business and economics. You can email me at denningk at crystaltonhigh.co.uk. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much.